There's a new journalistic shorthand for Donald Trump's emerging cabinet. It's being described as rich, like really, really rich, super fabulously wealthy, incredibly, amazingly rich. And that's true, led by America's first billionaire president. And you've got folks like Steve Mnuchin, the new Treasury Secretary. He's a former Goldman Sachs guy, hedge fund guy. Wilbur Ross, he's going to be the Commerce Secretary, he's said to be worth about $2.5 billion. Uh, Betsy DeVos, the new Education Secretary, her family co-founded Amway. Her family's said to be worth about $5 billion. Boy, if Mitt Romney gets in, he's like a piker. $250 million? Come on, that doesn't even clear the bar. Uh, and so all of that is fine to point that out because it's kind of unusual. But there is embedded in some of the stories that I'm seeing now a kind of a uh, dismissive attitude along these lines. These people are so wealthy or they were either born into great wealth or they've amassed these massive fortunes. And so they don't care about the middle class. They just want to help the rich. They want to help Wall Street. They want to help themselves. They want to help their rich friends. And is that really true? Or is that just an assumption by journalists who actually may be quite upper middle class but can never even dream of having this kind of wealth? Uh, Washington Post story really made me think about it uh, because it said such things as, well, it started out by talking about uh, how rich these folks are. They don't have much government experience. Yeah, Trump said he was going to drain the swamp, not appoint the typical beltway establishment types. Their collective wealth, says the Post, in many ways defies Trump's populist campaign promises, really. Uh, then there's a faculty member at the University of Virginia who says, well, they won't be able to draw upon the same sort of life struggles that President Obama did in crafting policy to lift poor and middle class Americans. And I say, hold on. Now, it may turn out to be true uh, that this team will pursue you know, tax cuts that mainly benefit the wealthy. The new Treasury Secretary Mnuchin says that's not going to be the case. Or uh, help banks, help big corporations, help Wall Street, slash programs for the poor. All of that is fair game. By the way, their business backgrounds and controversies are fair game, too. But why do we make the automatic assumption that just because they have lots and lots and lots of money, that they only care about rich people. Uh, we don't seem to do this in Democratic administrations. JFK, FDR, both born into elite, prominent, very wealthy families, and yet both were seen as trying to help the middle class. Uh, FDR in particular with the New Deal. Uh, and so it really is kind of striking, and Politico has a headline about Trump's new team of gazillionaires. And the bottom line here is, these people haven't taken office yet. They haven't made a single proposal. Donald Trump yesterday uh, went to Indiana because he was managed to save 800 working class factory jobs at the carrier extension plant in exchange for tax breaks. People can debate whether that's a good or a bad deal. But is it such a bad thing in the eyes of the media to be wealthy that you are automatically assumed to not care about anybody making less than a billion or a hundred million dollars? That seems to me to be kind of a bit of class warfare. Now, if it turns out that those are the policies, then we should scrutinize them, critique them, and perhaps criticize them. Right now, it kind of seems like stereotyping.